Minimaps are awesome. We can do a whole lot of stuff using minimaps, like keeping track of our enemies and destinations to name a few. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make a simple minimap. So let's get started. So here I've set up a simple scene using the standard Unity 3D character and a bunch of AIs randomly wandering around. So let me just show you how it looks like exactly. Alright, so this is our guy in green. He can walk around and as you can see there are other guys in blue walking around doing their own thing like any other dumb AIs. So you could say these guys in blue are your enemies. So we need to keep track of these enemies as there is no way right now for us to tell where they are coming from. So let's go and make a minimap for us. And there are a bunch of ways we could go about making a minimap. So let me explain what we are going to do in this video. If we just zoom out and set up a top down view like this, it looks like a minimap doesn't it? And we can see our player here, but it's kind of too tiny to see. So in order to replicate this view and put it in our game, we need a secondary camera with this view. Alright, so let's just go ahead and create a camera here. We have our camera at a random position, let's just reset it. And we actually don't need the audio listener, so we can just get rid of this. So let's go ahead and hit remove component. If we click our camera, we have got this camera placed at 000. So we just need to bring it up a bit. So let's put in 50 and we need to rotate it 90 degree on the x axis. And now we have a much better view of our environment. But we also don't want it to be a 3D camera, so we will convert so we'll convert the projection to orthography. Okay, so now we can see this player here. So now if you want to, we can just play around with the size of the camera here. And one more thing before we get started. As the camera is now in the orthographic view, we can see that there is no effect if we change the position of our camera in, the X, in any of the axes. And if we move too closer to the ground, we can see it disappearing. So we can just leave the position at 50 for now. All we need to do is just play around with the size to control the size of our minimap. And we have pretty much set up the camera for the minimap. But the problem is it overtakes our primary camera which is here inside the player. So I'm just gonna go ahead and name this one minimap cam. So we can differentiate these two. And what we want to do is to have this camera render on another texture. So let's go ahead and create a render texture for us. Go to create and here it is so render texture I'll just go ahead and call this minimap texture all right and here what we can do is first set up the size so I'll just bring it to 512 by 512 so it doesn't get too pixelated all right and we don't actually see anything here right now so what we want to do is go to our minimap camera we open this up we can see the slot for the target texture here. So we just need to drag and drop this inside of this slot. And we now have our primary camera back. So if we see this, here is our minimap on our minimap texture, which is pretty cool. And now we can use this minimap texture inside our game. And in order for us to do that, we need to create some kind of UI. So I'm just gonna go to the canvas, right click, and we will need a raw image. So let's go ahead and change the position of our camera to place it somewhere around here. I think this looks pretty good. The reason why we are using the raw image because it takes texture in instead of the sprite. So what we can do is drag and drop our render texture in the texture slot. And here we can see our minimap appearing on our screen. And if I just zoom in in our game screen we can see it appearing here and all we need to do is now add a bit of border to it because we can't see it really clearly so let's go ahead 
So let's go to the raw image and I'm just gonna go ahead and create uh, another image inside of our raw image. So let's just call this one mini map order and we have to just make it a little bit bigger than the raw image. Alright, so now our minimap has this nice border on it. And of course you can go ahead and change the color of the border any way you like. I'll just leave it at white for now. So now we have our minimap, but we actually can't see our player. And for that we are going to use some icons. So, so in order to do that we just need to go to our player, right click and we will make a 2D object and select sprite here. And for this sprite, I'm just gonna go ahead and use this one here. And of course you can select whatever sprite you like for your player. And we also need to rotate it in 90 degree in order to see that. Alright, so we have this nice sprite for our player. And we can actually see it here. And in our minimap. But we don't want the primary camera to render this icon here. So let's just first call this one minimap icon. And what we can do is actually change the layer on our icon. So I have created this one. You can just create a new one. I'll just select this. And now what we want to do is go to our camera and we don't want it to render this layer. So for that, I'm just gonna open up this culling mask and instead of everything, we're just gonna go ahead and disable the minimap sprites here. All right, and it no longer appears on our primary camera, which is all we want. But we can still see it in the scene view and in our minimap camera, which is kind of cool, right? And now for the minimap camera, we don't want it to render our player. We just want it to render the icon here. So we can just repeat the same steps here. I'm just gonna go ahead and select all of for the environment, which is inside here in the game object. And I'll just set the layer to world here. All right, yes to children and and if I just open it up, I've got the whole environment under this steady game object. Alright, so now what we want to do is the minimap camera to render to render the environment and the icons only. Instead of selecting everything, we're just gonna go ahead and hit nothing for now. And now we want this camera to render is the minimap icons and the environment. And as you can see, it renders all of these. And also I just want to set the size to somewhere like it. It looks good. And now we can just go ahead and play the game. And as you can see, we can already see the minimap here. And it looks kind of cool, but the problem here is it doesn't follow our player and the icons get cut off if we move closer to the environment. And the reason why it is happening because we have set it too close to the ground. Make sure it just doesn't get in the way of your environment. And in order to make the camera follow the player, the simplest thing we can do is make the camera child of our player. And if we just go ahead and play now, we can see it working just fine. We can actually move around. But there is a problem with this approach. So let's just go back and I'll show you what I mean. So if we were to let's say rotate our player, so you can see the minimap camera getting rotated too and that's something that we don't want so so what i'm gonna do is put it big and instead make a small camera follow script for this object i'm just gonna call this minicam follow and here firstly we can just get rid of both these we don't need them and the first thing we need to do is make a public transform for our player over the target all right and also we need a vector 3 for the offset so we don't actually need the start method so let's get rid of this and now inside of our opt-in method the first thing we need to do is just set the transform position of our camera to the position of our player simple as that and plus the offset and for the rotation what we need to do is so we can just make a new vector 3 and inside and for the x-axis we will put in 90 for the 5 we will go ahead and put the whatever the player's rotation is 
because we just want the camera to follow the y rotation of our prayer and for the z we will just put in zero and now we can just apply this rotation to our camera so transform the rotation is equal to cartonian dot euler and just put in the rotation all right let's save this and head back inside of unity to see if it works firstly let's drag and drop our player as the target and for the offset y i'm just gonna go ahead and put 50 here so if we go ahead and hit play now we can already see the camera following our player's movement and also the rotation and also the icons doesn't get cut off here but we also want the icons for these enemies because we can't really see them and we need to keep track of our enemies, right? So let's go back. And the first thing we can do is just drag and drop this here to make a prefab out of our minimap icon. So I'll just go to the NPCs. I've got all my AIs inside of this. And what I'm gonna do is, is drag and drop the minimap icon inside each and every one of them. Let's just quickly do that. All right, and let's select all of the minimap icons and I'm just gonna change the sprite to something more dark, something like this. And of course you can change it to whatever you like. I'm just gonna go ahead and change the color to, to red. Awesome, and let's go ahead and hit play now. And indeed we can see these red icons moving around on our minimap. And also let's just go ahead and change the game size to 10. So we can have a better look at our environment at the environment in our minimap here. And yeah, it looks pretty cool. So we have set up our minimap and all just left is to let's say style it. So most of the games use the circular minimaps and in order to make this one circle all we need to do is is first we will need to change the border to let's say a circle I'm just gonna use this one here and we can see the circle behind our minimap here but in order to make our minimap a circle we need to add a mask to our minimap border and right away you can see our minimap changing to a circle and but we also just need to make this a little bit bigger so we will just go ahead and select our raw image and I'll just make it to 20 by 220 pixels and now we have a full circle here alright but we just lost our border um, let's first name this one mask and inside our raw image I'm just gonna create a new image let's just call this one minimap border instead and I'll make this a little bit bigger than, than our minimap. Drag this out and here you can see this. And to make it circle we're just gonna go ahead and change the sprite. And as you can see we now have our border. And it looks pretty cool. Let's just drag and drop the rest of our minimap inside of it. And if we go ahead and play, it kind of looks good. So yeah, now we can do a lot of stuff using this minimap, like keeping track of our enemies and things like that. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the minimap. And also if you want this cool map, I will leave a link to it in the description so you can just download it, it's completely free. And before ending this video, if you haven't subscribed to my channel and if you find this video helpful, make sure you subscribe because it will help me out. Thanks again and I'll see you in the next one.